Hello, my name is Deacon Mark from St. Rita, and if you're watching this video, that means that you have a child that is going to be baptized. And what a joyful thing, what a happy thing, but I have to say that at baptisms, there is some crying. There's some crying from the babies, but also a lot of crying from the parents and the godparents and the aunts and uncles, and they're crying because they are very, very joyful. Baptism is a joyful thing when a child, such as Larry, is brought into the church. And baptism is necessary for salvation. It forgives original sin, and Larry today is going to be made a new person in Christ. And he's going to be welcomed in to the body of Christ in the community. So Larry is now going to have more brothers and sisters in Christ. And with baptism, he will get the gifts of the Holy Spirit, wisdom, knowledge, counsel, courage, piety, awesome awe of God, and understanding. It's something that baptism is essential for a follower of Christ. And why do we baptize at such an early age? Well, think of this. We're going to baptize. We're going to get all these gifts. You need to get your child baptized, and something happens. Something happens mysteriously, something beyond what we see. And it's important that you have your child baptized as early as possible so that they are welcomed into the, the community of Christ. So we're going to go through the sacrament kind of quickly. We won't do the whole thing, but we'll explain what we use. And today we have the father, the mother, we have Larry, and usually we have two godparents chosen, which we have probably have talked about before this. So we begin every single thing with prayer. And we begin with the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And in a few minutes, we're going to be baptizing Larry in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So every time you make the sign of the cross, you remember your baptism. We begin by asking a question to the parents. Parents. What name do you give your child? Larry. Larry. And what do you ask of God's church for your child? Baptism. Baptism. Very good. And at this point, I'll ask the same question to the godparents. Are you ready to help the parents of this child in their duty as Christian parents? And they will say yes. And then I will pray, Larry, the Christian community welcomes you with great joy. In the name I claim you for Christ our Savior. By the sign of the cross, I now trace the cross on your forehead and invite the parents to do the same. So, parents and the priest or deacon will trace the sign of the cross on the head. And at that time, the godparents also would do it. Actually, I invite grandparents and everybody in the community to come forward and to put the sign of the cross on the child. At this point, I would have everyone sit down, and we would go to the Word of God, and we would pray, and we would listen very intently to the Word of God. And then I would do a short homily, explaining the reading, and talking about how baptism is so important for this child and for the parents. Then we will get to the right. As you see, we are... We're by the water. Each church, each baptismal font is different. Here we are kind of stuck because our baptismal font is closed. So we have water that has been blessed. Okay, we'll begin with, it's called the prayer of exorcism and the anointing before baptism. Almighty and ever-living God, you sent your only son into the world to cast out the power of Satan spirit of evil to rescue man from the kingdom of darkness and we go on and we say amen at this point i will take oil okay this is blessed oil blessed on uh, the tuesday before easter it is blessed by the bishop and oil is used to seal in the sacrament seal in those gifts that we give so I'm just going to pretend to anoint Larry, and 
I anoint Larry on his breast. There. Very good. May you have strength in the power of Christ our Savior who lives and reigns forever. And we all say, Amen. Okay. Now, we come to the point where we're going to bless the water. Water is a sign of cleansing. Every time we come into a church, we will go to a font and bless ourselves in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And it's a symbol that the church uses, a symbol that we show that, that washes away the sins of Larry. So, I will say a prayer over the water, then I will touch the water, signifying that the water is now blessed. We ask you, Father, with your Son, to send the Holy Spirit upon the water and the font. May all who are buried with Christ in the death of baptism rise also with him to newness in life. We ask this through Christ our Lord, and we all say, Amen. Amen. And now, we do the procession, procession, pro profession of faith. And now this is the time that we're going to go through the creed, and we're going to do what we, we believe, and you will answer, I do. Okay, are you ready? Do you reject Satan? I do. And all his works? And all his emptiness. Do you reject sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? Do you reject the glamour of evil, refuse to be mastered by sin? Do you reject Father Satan, the father of sin, the prince of darkness? Do you believe in God the Father, Almighty Creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? Amen. And so we would go through the whole creed, and they would profess as parents what they believe as they are going to raise their child. And now, Larry, parents, we come to the moment of the baptism. Okay. More questions that you have to answer. Is it your will that Larry should be baptized in the faith of the church, which we have all professed, which we just professed before this? And you say, it is. It, it is. is. There we go. And now is the time of baptism. And now, you can choose, when you baptize, you can choose the godparent to hold or one of the parents to hold. Okay, who is going to hold the child? Okay, come forward. And with the holy water, we're going to baptize Larry. And if you listen to the words, Larry, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And usually at this time, the baby starts to cry, but Larry is such a good a good kid, he's not crying at all. Very mm -mm. good. All right. Step away. Very good. All right. Then we anoint with the sacred chrism. Okay. God the Father of your Lord Jesus Christ has freed you from sin, given you a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit. Once again, we're talking about the Holy Spirit coming down and, and something happens. You know, it's not just words. The Holy Spirit comes upon you, and once the Holy Spirit is within you, it's there always, always, regardless of what happens. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation, as Christ was anointed priest, prophet, and king, so may you live always as a member of body, sharing everlasting life. And then the priest or deacon will go and get the chrism, Put a whole lot on his thumb, and this chrism has a beautiful smell to it. And what he does, he swaths it on Larry's head, and Larry will now have a beautiful smell for the next few weeks, it sounds like. Okay. Now, the clothing with the white garment, I pray. Larry, you have become a new creation. You see the white? You see what I'm wearing white? What happens at uh, 
When you receive your first Eucharist, you wear white because you're putting on Christ. You're becoming part of the family of Christ. And I pray, Larry, you have become a new creation. You have clothed yourself in Christ. So the priest or deacon will clothe the child in white because he's born new. He is a brand new creation in Christ. With your family and friends to help you word by word and example, bring that dignity unstained into the everlasting life of heaven. And we all say, Amen. Very good. Now, the candle. As you see, we have a candle here. We have a big candle and other candles here. This is the, called the Paschal candle. It represents Jesus. So what we're going to do, we're going to light the baptismal candle. I always have someone tall to do that. Good. Oh, there you go. Come stand by there. And the priest or deacon prays, Parents and godparents, the light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly. As you notice, the, the parents are holding the candle. This child of yours has been enlightened by Christ. He is to, she is to, he is to walk always as a child of the light. We are out of the darkness. We're called to come out of the darkness into the light. When the Lord comes, may he go to meet him with all the saints in the heaven. Very good. Now, another prayer. There's lots of prayer in this. The priest or deacon will go over and lay his hands on the ears and the mouth and pray. The Lord Jesus made the deaf hear and the dumb speak. May he soon touch your ears to receive his word and your mouth to proclaim his faith to the praise and glory of God the Father. So we're praying now that as Larry grows older, he goes out and listens to the word of Christ, takes that into his heart, and goes out to the nations and preaches the word. Now, we are at the end here. You have put on Christ in him. You have been baptized. Alleluia, alleluia. Hold up Larry. And at this point, everyone will clap and cheer because we have a new creation in Christ, a new child, Larry. And at this time, we will pray the Our Father. The Our Father is the first prayer Jesus gave us, and it's the first prayer that Larry will hear as a child, and he'll probably learn it from his parents and godparents as they go on. Now, as we get to the end, we do a special blessing. We've been praying for Larry all throughout the baptism. Now, the priest or deacon will come and pray for the mother and pray for the father because they have a great responsibility. They were married in Christ. Now they're the opportunity to raise a child in Christ, to bring them up, to get them to heaven, to show them the way to be the light for this child, this new creation. So, in a nutshell, that's what happens at baptism. And I hope and pray that going forward, you will be the parents that help get your child to heaven. So, may God bless you. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you, Larry.